Hey guys, Matt back with another video. Uh, today's video is a little bit of an experiment. I purchased one of these Yeti Tundra coolers the other day, and I've always been curious as to how long they can retain uh, ice and a suitable temperature for, let's say, uh, you know, your steak, your meat, your chicken, uh, whatever food it may be, or even drink. What what, how long it can retain a suitable temperature to keep those items cool. Yeah, so I went ahead and started creating a bunch of bundles of ice uh, in my freezer. So I got a bunch of, you know, gallon bags of ice, put it on the uh, coldest setting. And what we're gonna do is put these, uh, these ice bags, along with some steak that I have there, in the cooler and see how long uh, we retain the ice and uh, suitable temperatures for meat and other foods and drinks. All right guys, so I got all the ice in there and you can see I threw a, a sirloin steak up top, which is also frozen. Um, and so what we're gonna do is periodically, uh, I guess every 24 hours, maybe every 12 hours, come and check uh, the temperature as well as the ice content and see where we're at. And hopefully we can I don't know, make it to seven days. That's that's kind of like my guess is anywhere from four, I would say five to seven days. It's also worth mentioning that the cooler is in a relatively stable controlled setting. It's gonna be in my apartment. It stays about an average of 70, I would say 72 degrees in the apartment throughout you know the day. With that being said, you know, if you're gonna have this cooler out in your truck, you're gonna have this cooler out, you know, in the field, at a campsite, whatever it may be, you know, the temperatures are gonna obviously play a factor on how long the ice is able to stay cool, as well as your contents. 24 hours has passed, and we're gonna crack open the cooler. Let's see where we're at. All right, so looks to be, oh, let's, let's take a look. So the steak is uh, still fresh. For the most part, we got a little water in the bag. Nothing too crazy. We'll put this to the side. A little less water in this bag. And then, looks like we just got ice. It's doing a phenomenal job at retaining the ice. Uh, I did have an infrared thermometer that I left in my storage unit. So day two, we'll be able to gauge what temperature uh, we actually have in the cooler and um, I'll probably end up eating the steak tonight but outside of that so far so good the cooler is doing a great job at retaining the ice all right guys so we're here day two about 48 hours in we're going to see how this cooler is retaining ice all right so we got our steak which I didn't eat last night but I'll definitely eat tonight Still in good shape. Uh, as far as ice goes, this top bag is probably 50% ice, 50% water. Uh, so that's doing that. But if we go to the second bag here, I was just under that top bag. It's almost completely ice. I mean, minus maybe 10% water at the bottom, but for the most part, completely ice. So. Cooler's doing a great job at retaining the ice. And in that last bag, you can just briefly see that's that's all still ice. Yeah, so doing a great great job at retaining the ice. Um, I reckon we'll get the uh, five days, possibly six days. But uh, yeah, so see you tomorrow, day three, 72 hours. All right guys, so here, day three, a little over 72 hours out, roughly 76 hours I was out for the day. I didn't have a chance to uh, do this video clip, but let's see where we're at. All right, so our first bag here is pretty much all water. All right, second bag about 50% ice, 50% water. And then that bottom bag along with the other bag, quite a bit of ice still left there. Pretty surprising being that we're, you know, a little over three days into it. So, but uh, overall, not looking too bad. 
gonna let that continue to sit. I won't even take out the water bags uh, you know, just for the uh, the experiment. But um, yeah, uh, we'll do a clip tomorrow. All right, guys, uh, we're here day four, a little over four days in, about 100 hours to be exact, as I'm looking at the clock. Uh, let's see how the ice is doing. Oh, wow. So initially we can see we got quite a bit of water pulled up. Still a substantial amount of ice left in this bag. I would say about 50-50. Still got some ice here. Still got some ice here. And finally, a bag full of water. So at this point, I really want to hit that five day mark, but we'll probably just continue to go until there's no ice at all. Uh, so see you tomorrow. All right, guys, day five here. Unfortunately, I just recorded a video with some remnants of ice and water, and I accidentally deleted the video. So I'm just leaving you guys off with some of my closing thoughts. I mean, overall, I think the uh, performance of this cooler is, is great. You know, almost five days of ice retention. I can't complain there. Again, we're in a controlled setting, but you know, overall, uh, I've never had a cooler pass a day uh, with ice. So definitely, a high quality item here um do i recommend it yeah totally you know totally recommend it um especially if you're doing like longer trips you know uh, again i don't know how this cooler is going to perform in the real world setting but i will be doing maybe uh another video so stay tuned for that uh, i appreciate you guys watching if you like the video just uh throw a like uh comment if you have any questions and uh I'll catch you on the next video